गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप आप लोगों को फर्स्ट टू पोएम्स समझ आई हूँ यू मस्ट हेल्प सीन द वीडियोज हर्ड द वीडियो लेक्चर्स एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द पोएम्स टूडे आई विल डील विद द नेक्स्ट पोएम दैट इज वेन आई एम डेड माई चेयरेस्ट बाय क्रिस्टेना रॉजटी ओके क्रिस्टेना रॉजटी इज अ ब्रिटिश पोएट एंड she has uh, uh, written a very good amount of uh, literature okay and this one poem of hers is a very simple poem but it has a very deep meaning at the surface level jise hum kehte hain ki jo poem ka literal meaning hai hmm jise hum literally samajhte hain that is very simple what she saying when i'm dead my dearest but at the deeper level what message christina rosetti is trying to give you is that what we have to understand in the novel okay or in the poem sorry okay so the title when i am dead my dearest the poet is saying when i'm dead and she is addressing the poem to her lover okay and when i'm dead what she wants her lover to do when i'm dead my dearest sing no sad songs for me i don't want you to sing sad songs for me no uh, religious ceremonies just ceremonial rituals hote hain i don't want that and i don't want you to cry over my death प्लांट दाओ दाओ मैंने आपको पिछली पॉइंट में भी बताया था दाओ ओल्ड इंग्लिश में क्या होता है यू यू शुड प्लांट नो रोजेज एट माई हेड मेरे ग्रेव के ऊपर किसी भी तरह के फूल लगाने की जरूरत नहीं है रोजेज लगाने की जरूरत नहीं है नॉर शेडी सिपरस ट्री अभी जो सिपरस ट्री है ना इसका एसोसिएशन मोनफुलनेस के साथ होता है मोनफुलनेस मोनफुलनेस इज सैडनेस जब हम मोन करते हैं हम दुख प्रकट करते हैं दैट इज मोनफुलनेस सो सिपरस ट्री वैसे क्या है इट इज अ ट्री ऑफ कॉनिफर फैमिली विथ स्मॉल राउंड कोन्स सरू वृक्ष जिसको हम हिंदी में कहते हैं सरू ओके इट हैज ट्रेडिशनली बीन एसोसिएटेड विद मोर्निंग इन द ईस्टर्न एंड द वेस्टर्न सोसाइटीज फॉर एजेस एंड इज प्लांटेड नियर द ग्रेव बिकॉज बींग वेरी टॉल इट सपोजली पॉइंट्स टू हेवन जैसे कि उस पेड़ के ऊपर चढ़ के द सोल विल रीच द हेवन दैट इज अ ट्रेडिशनल बिलीफ ओके सरू वृक्ष so she says don't sing sad songs don't put roses on my grave and don't plant the cypress tree be the green grass above me so let the natural grass jo natural grass grass lagta hai na ghas lagta hai aas pass usko lagne do let it be there which showers and dew drops wet jo ki naturally बारिश पड़ने से या ड्यू ड्रॉप्स ओस की बूंदे पड़ने से अपने आप इट विल गेट वेट एंड इट विल ग्रो द नेचुरल ग्रास एंड इफ दाउ विल्ट इफ यू विल रिमेंबर इफ यू दाउ विल्ट विल्ट दिया ना विल्ट का मतलब विल है यहां पे फिर से वही ओल्ड इंग्लिश यूज की हुई है विल्ट इज विल अगर तुम्हारी इच्छा है मुझे भूल जाओ अगर तुम्हारी इच्छा है यू मे रिमेंबर मी I have no issues with that. So uh, सिर्फ वो ये बताना चाह रही है कि लवर को कि ऐसा नहीं करना ऐसा नहीं करना नो द डीपर मीनिंग विच शी इज टेलिंग ओवर हियर इज दैट द पीपल हु डाई यू नो इन डिफरेंस ऑफ डेथ 
द पीपल हु हैव डाइड दे आर इनडिफरेंट टू ऑल दीज थिंग्स उन्हें कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता आप उनके ग्रेव पे जाके दुख मना रहे हो फूल चढ़ा रहे हो वट एवर यू आर डूइंग इट डजेंट अफेक्ट दैम एट ऑल दैट इज वाई रॉजिटी द पोएट शी इज टेलिंग हर लवर दैट डोंट डू एनी काइंड ऑफ सच नॉनसेंस आफ्टर आई डाई बिकॉज उसका कोई रेलिवेंस नहीं है वेन द पर्सन डाइज ही बिकम्स इन डिफरेंट टू द पेन्स एंड प्लेजर्स ऑफ लाइफ He doesn't know what is happening. He is in the other world, about which we do not know. So all these things, she says, all this show off is not required according to me. According to me, according to the poet. Second paragraph. I shall not see the shadows. I shall not feel the rain if somebody comes and stand at my grave. मुझे उसकी शैडो नहीं दिख रही है If the rain is falling on my grave, I can't see that. So the there is a I will totally grow indifferent once I am in the grave. Life की uh, pleasures, life के pains का क्या relevance है It finishes after I die. So it doesn't matter to me. whether you are doing things for me after i die whether you are remembering me whether you are singing sad songs for me or the sun is rising or the rain is falling for me ye sari cheezon ka mere liye koi matlab nahi reh jata i am indifferent to all these things i shall not hear the nightingale sing on as if in pain now you know this uh reference ye reference hai kiska नाइटिंगेल नाइटिंगेल सिंग इन पेन नाउ यू नो दिस हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम माइथोलॉजी देर इज अ मिथ फ्रॉम द ग्रीक माइथोलॉजी एंड उसको समझने की कोशिश कीजिए उसके बाद में आके पढ़ती हूँ कि वाई शी इज सेंग दैट इफ नाइटिंग गेल इज सिंगिंग सैड सॉन्ग्स इफ शी इज सिंगिंग मैं शी बोल रही हूँ इट बोलना चाहिए बट आई वन से शी ओवर हेड पोएम में हम पर्सोनिफिकेशन कर लेते हैं नॉन ह्यूमन थिंग्स को हम ह्यूमन uh, एट्रीब्यूट दे देते हैं ठीक है जैसे कि आई एम यूजिंग शी Why she is singing painful songs, sad songs? Why she is singing in pain? So myth, kya hai? Myth is there was this princess of Athens, Philomela. Her sister, Procne. Okay, and Procne's marriage was to the king of Thrace, whose name was Cheros. Cheros is written down here. Cheros is this. Okay. so what happens this king terus he rapes philomela usko woods mein cabin mein zabardasti le jata hai woods hote hain forest and there he rapes her and he tells her that do not tell this to anyone that i seduced you or i raped you and philomela disagrees तो वो क्या करता है ही कट्स ऑफ हर टंग एंड ही शट्स हर देयर ओनली वहीं जंगल में उसको उस कैबिन के अंदर फॉरेस्ट में कैबिन के अंदर बंद करके चला जाता है एंड देन व्हाट हैपेंस बिकॉज शी कांट स्पीक नाउ उसकी टंग जुबान काट दी है फिलोमेला वीव्स द स्टोरी वीव समझते हैं उसने आ, कपड़े पे वो कहानी बुन दी जो स्टोरी थी उसकी जो उसके साथ हुआ शी वीव दैट ऑन द ऑन अ क्लॉथ पीस एंड दैट वीव रीच प्रोकने उसको पता चल गया और वो बात समझ गई राइट एंड शी इन ऑर्डर टू टेक रिवेंज फ्रॉम अ हजबेंड शी किल्स हर सन अपने बेटे को मार देती है राइट उसका मीट बना के इन अ मील वो अपने हजबेंड को सर्व कर देती है एंड टू कंप्लीट देयर रिवेंज व्हाट द टू सिस्टर्स डू दे ब्रिंग द हेड ऑफ द डेड सन एंड दे प्लेस ऑन हिज टेबल ओके 
how crude right and uh, with this of course their revenge is somehow complete revenge unhone le liya theres ne jo kiya tha but what happens now he is badly after the life of these two females he wants to kill both of them and philomela and prokene uske baad they pray to god to save them or to transform them so that terrace is never able to find them aur bhagwan unki baat sun lete hain and prokene bird ban jati hai she becomes a swallow jisko bird hoti hai ek and your philomela she becomes a nightingale and nightingale ban ke she keeps singing those sad songs or songs of pain to ye myth hai isliye poet is saying that i will not see the shadow i will not see the rain falling on my grave and i will not hear the nightingale sing in pain ye iska relevance hai theek hai i hope aapko story samajh aayi ho and dreaming through the twilight ab twilight ek aisa time hai jab din aur raat milte hain theek hai to hum ye nahi bolenge ki twilight rises or twilight falls jaise ki the sun rises and the sun sets it doesn't happens with twilight wo ek samay hai jo aata hai and jata hai intermediate it keeps changing but as such there is no movement right so what she is doing she is cre- uh, comparing i'll change the pen she is comparing twilight jo na set hota hai na rise karta hai samay that time twilight to death because the person sleeps off the person dies and he only awakens in the other world so and dreaming through the twilight that dot dot fir purani english se liya hai that dot uh, let me write here which means does dot that dot not rise nor set the twilight doesn't rise and the twilight doesn't set so it gives death isko sath compare kiya hai twilight the writer the poet is comparing and she is describing it as a dreaminess okay as a misty state of affairs so what she is saying uh she says and dreaming through the twilight that does not rise and does not set happily happily matlab perhaps shayad okay perhaps happily happily me yani h a p l y happily perhaps i may remember and happily may forget ab dekhiye do baatein hain agar aap first paragraph jo yahan hai iski last two lines and iski last two lines if you will see you will find out that in the first paragraph she is saying apne lover ko she is saying you may forget me you may remember me that is up to you it will not affect me and similarly she is saying for herself also that when i am dead when i am in this dreamy state which looks almost misty maybe i remember you maybe i forget you that is what she is trying to say and the deeper meaning the level the deeper level at which the poem stands of course is the indifference of the dead and the second important thing the second important deeper meaning is that they become indifferent to pains and pleasures of life maine ye and use kiya hai aap nahi use karenge apne answers mein okay mujhe bhi nahi karna chahiye i used it because of space okay so 
जो हमारे अर्ली वर्ल्ड की पेन्स एंड प्लेजर्स हैं दे सीज सीज स्टॉप दे डू नॉट अफेक्ट हर और दे विल नॉट अफेक्ट हर वंस शी इज डेट ओके सो दिस वॉट शी इज दिस इज वॉट शी इज ट्राइंग टू से एंड शी सेंग वेन आई अभी वो मरी नहीं है शी इज नॉट डाइट बट शी इज टेलिंग हर लवर वॉट शी एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम हिम वेन शी डाइस इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट आई होप यू ऑल विल लाइक इट Now let us see what the writer says about the poem. The writer of the book. The poem has a striking simplicity at the surface. मोहम्मद ने देखा normal कितनी simple चीजें images यहाँ पे use हुई हैं. सारी images किसको relate करती हैं? Sadness को relate करती हैं. Mournfulness को relate करती हैं. ठीक है? चाहे cypress tree की बात करें, sad song of the nightingale की बात करें. They all are images that stand for sadness but it is a considerably deep poem reflecting the poet's vision poet's vision after death okay now totally outrightly different a poet jo hai na christina rosetti inka outlook hum sab se different kyu hai because we fear death and she has shown in the poem that she is not afraid of death okay that is what it implies there is a certain tenderness and sensitivity in the way the speaker contemplates images after her death perhaps she does not wish that her dear should carry out the ceremonial rituals like planting the roses and the cypress trees at her grave wo nahi chahti ki uska lover aisa kuch kare she would rather have him caress her grave with tears in eyes and metaphorically transform into the very grass on the grave okay he may be sad he may feel sad and with those tears you know that natural grass may grow there with wet showers and dew drops the poet also adds that it is for the lover her dearest to remember or to forget her he may forget her it is his wish the stark inevitability of death inevitable kya hota hai jisko har haal mein hona hai and what is that death we may do anything hum kuch bhi kar le death is one of the most inevitable thing in the world jise hum rok nahi sakte jise hum badal nahi sakte that is why inevitable is underlined फिर से पढ़ती हूं मैं द स्टार्क इन इन एविटेबिलिटी ऑफ डेथ इज अंडरलाइन बाय द स्पीकर व्हेन शी रेफर्स टू द फैक्ट दैट शी वुड नो लॉन्गर बी एबल टू एक्सपीरियंस थिंग्स लाइक अ लिविंग पर्सन डज हम सारी चीजें एक्सपीरियंस करते हैं पेन प्लेजर सैडनेस हैप्पीनेस बट अ डेड पर्सन वुड नॉट एक्सपीरियंस दैट द पोएम इज मोर ऑफ एन एक्सेप्टेंस देन फियर ऑफ डेथ The tone is somber, somber होता है sad and mature, particularly when Rossetti compares death to a state of dreaminess, an intermediate existence or twilight that remains constant because it does not set, it does not rise. The poem ends with the same refrain. Refrain the same thing जो first two paragraphs में first paragraph में था and then the concluding two lines but this time it is not the lover who may remember or forget her but the speaker that is the beloved herself so she says happily i may remember happily not happily happily i may remember happily i may forget the idea of speaker's indifference is altogether unconventional when seen in the context of traditional voices of women which are largely submissive hamesha dabaya jata hai submissive subdue kiya jata hai women ki voice ko christina rosetti's poem therefore sets a new tradition of women's assertive assertion of choice it is her choice it is her choice how she wants her lover to treat her after her death तो ये असर्टिवनेस भी प्लीज याद रखिएगा आप है ना वेमेन्स एसर्शन 
of choice. That is how she wants her lover to treat her after death. Treat her. She says things which she doesn't want him to do. So she is exercising her assertiveness. She is not trying to be submissive or uh, subdued like the other traditional women. Okay. I hope you have understood and uh, I changed the color so that you know that this is a myth which has been connected to why the nightingale sing in pain. Clear? A very interesting poem. I really like it. I hope you will also like it. If you doubts or any questions, you are free to ask. Obviously, settings have closed settings, but that doesn't mean that you can ask questions. You can always send me a personal message about your queries. Okay? And when you are watching the tutorial, when you are listening to the lecture, have the book with you. Please, without the book, I don't want to listen to you, but you will Especially when we are poetry. Because the text of essay is shown in front of you. Because that is how the recording has been done. But here, you should have the book with you in your hand. You should relax and relax in the bed. No, please. Okay? Have the book with you. Only then you will understand what I am reading, where I am reading, what I am explaining. Okay? I hope मेरी बात समझ आई हो आपको मैं क्या कह रही हूँ। That's all for when I'm dead, my dearest. Thank you. Take care.